Hello, Lions fans. I am celebrating a week one win over the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead Stadium by our Detroit Lions. I actually had to come outside. I didn't want to wake my family up because uh, I'm pretty darn excited. And uh, I tend to get a little loud when I get that way. So uh, I'm out out here uh, in in a nice, cool uh, West Michigan evening. Just feeling great about the Lions and how they came up with this win. And the the prevailing theme that I got from it, and my, my primary takeaway, was that this was a game where, in the past... Those of us who cover the team for for any number of time, and, and I've been covering them for a while now, uh, and been a fan for much much longer, we're always looking for okay, how are we going to have to write how they lose this game? Is it going to be a record-setting field goal? Is it going to be an official making a errant call that that winds up being you know changing a rule uh, because it's so egregiously bad? Is it because? A uh, heretofore unknown player on the other team comes up with a spectacular play and, and ruins what, what's otherwise been a great Lions game. Is it going to be a Lions player that we love screwing up? You know, there's any number of ways, and we're all used to it. It's it's, it's part of why we're so passionate about our team. Because, damn, man, we've been so close so many times, and we've never had it. But you know what? This is the second game in a row where the Lions have gone on the road against a Hall of Fame quarterback and beat them. And beat them with defense. Not something we're used to saying in Detroit, that's for darn sure. We watched the defense come up huge tonight. Held the Kansas City Chiefs to 20 points. And oh, by the way, they scored seven of their own thanks to Brian Branch. This is a script flip that we're not used to, and a lot of people around the country aren't expecting, and quite frankly, there's a lot of people in Lions Land that aren't expecting it. I know there were a lot of people that were wondering, oh, well, how, how are they going to blow this game? You know, again, some excruciatingly spectacular and soul-crushing way they would lose it. It's not this team. It's not what Dan Campbell's about. They're finding ways to win. That's... It's a brave new world for us Lions fans, man. And it's a world that I want to live in and I'm happy to be in. It's uh, it's a great feeling. I, I, it's, it's weird that I'm almost at a loss for words for how excited I am about this. I'm trying not to wake my neighbors up and try to, to keep it a little contained. But damn, that felt good, man. That was nice. We are ready for prime time. Anybody who had any fears about this team not being legit... Look, I know it's week one. I know the Chiefs were playing without Kelsey and without Chris Jones. But you know what? We've had we've worn those shoes before. Don't don't need an asterisk for the win. You don't apologize for the win. You take the win. Too many times in the past, Lions teams haven't been able to do that. This one can. Thank you, Dan Campbell. Thank you, Sheila Hamp. Thank you, Brad Holmes. Thank you to this team for believing in one another and making things happen. Don't know how the rest of the year is going to play out, but dang, man, this is a nice start.